Hi, welcome back. As we know, the wire connection can provide much more reliability than Wi-Fi. So if one the cable from point A and point B is possible, I always suggest to use the wire connection. However, in some of the cases, it's very difficult to wire the cable between point A and point B. In our last video, we do help customers set up the wireless bridge between the point A and point B. There's a lake between these two, and it's not so possible to wire the cable. And the important thing to use the wireless bridge, we need to find the clean path between point A and point B. If there are any tree or wall blocking the transmission and receiving, you don't get the good result. Now we got another inquiry from the customer. He has quite similar setup, but there's multiple points he need to return the signal. And now we are facing more difficult thing. First, let's move to the whiteboard and see what's the real situation we are dealing with now. Here's the real situation. The customer wants to set up multiple cameras at the other side, and he plays to use the MV at the house. There's about 1,500 feet river between these two. You see, it's quite difficult to wire the cable from the house to the other side. We do know we can use the wireless bridge. Usually the wireless bridge work in pair, one transmitter and another work as the receiver. Actually, we also can use the one receiver to work with multiple transmitter. So the fair solution is we set up the one receiver here, we got multiple transmitter and each of the bridge facing to the camera. But there's two challenges with this kind of solution. You see, when we set up the receiver here, it needs to face to the transmitter. But the transmitter may stay from different position. It's quite difficult for the receiver to talk to the first transmitter of the top and also talk to the last transmitter at the, la at the bottom, right? The second challenge is there's three blocking the transmission and receiving. It's very really difficult for the receiver to have a clean path to each of the transmitter. But we do have the solution for this kind of case. Now let's move to the workshop and see how this problem can be solved. Here's the solution. We just use one pair of wireless bridge, one transmitter and one receiver. But we also adding the outdoor POE switch to the transmitter. You can see now the camera is not connecting to the transmitter. Instead, it's connecting to the, this outdoor POE switch. Also, the transmitter also connecting to this outdoor POE switch. The outdoor POE switch has other POE port which can supply both power and data to each of the IP camera. The maximum distance between the camera and this outdoor POE switch is about 300 feet. So we can place this outdoor POE switch and the wireless bridge just next to the river. It's very really easy to find the clean path to the receiver. The key is we need to add this outdoor POE switch acting as aggregated switch. It's handling the video from different IP camera and the maximum distance from the camera to this outdoor POE switch is about 300 feet. Actually, we can still have another 300 feet between the outdoor POE switch and the transmitter, which means if the distance is not enough, we can post this outdoor POE switch more close to the camera. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about this setup, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.